Hi everyone, I still get a little confusion out there about the difference between patents, trademarks, and copyright, sometimes even from other attorneys because they're not familiar with intellectual property. So if you're not sure about the difference between all three and which tool is best to protect your work, stick with me for the next two minutes. I promise you, you'll be able to tell the difference and even go on Shark Tank and make sure to use the proper lingo. <laughs> All right, so I figured what best to do this than to use an actual tool. Today we have a Sharpie highlighter in this case. So I came up with this idea and I want to protect this. Um, I came up with the idea that this is a, a pen with a cartridge inside filled with ink with a felt tip. When the tip is on a surface, the ink gets flowing from uh, the cartridge and I'm able to write or use an adequate amount of ink onto whatever surface I'm working on. Now, I want to protect how this works. Everything that I just de described right now, um, and maybe like a high pigment ink in there as well, um, all of these can be protected through a patent, through specifically a utility patent. Utility patent protects how something works. So like I just described. Say I came up with this design as well, this design does not did not exist before, and I want to protect this design too. So here I have a little step between the this part of the pen and then the second one making this more fun and more easy, like easier to use. Um, so I want to protect this design. I want to protect this cap as well because I like it. You can actually insert it in your pocket. This is a fun design and I want to make sure that nobody else is using the same design as me. I can protect this through design patents. So difference between utility and design patents, uh, a utility patent will protect the way something works, whereas a design patent will protect the way something looks and feel. Now, I came up with a great name, Sharpie. You know, this name did not exist before. It doesn't really mean anything. And I want to protect that name. Say I want to protect a slogan too, highest pigments ever or brightest pigments ever. Um, or I want to also protect the logo, the way my logo is described right here. I can do all that through trademarks. Now, trademarks will allow me to protect my name, protect a logo, and even a slogan. Now, last but not least, say I came up with a creative work. Either I made an amazing drawing using this Sharpie pen, or I took a photo or a video of the life of the Sharpie pen, uh, and I want to protect that creative work that is attached to a medium. Essentially, I created either a poem, a writing, uh, or... I have a blog about this, you know, and I want to make sure that I protect the content of that. I can do all that through copyright. Now, copyright will allow you to protect creative right, creative works, um, as long as it's recorded somewhere. So as long as I can actually, like, you know, show where it is, then, then you're good. So just to recap a little bit, patents will protect the way something works. If we're using design patents, we can protect the way something looks. Trademarks. We can protect the names, slogan, or logos, and copyrights will be for any creative work that we created that is attached to a medium. And voila! Now you can go to Shark Tank and tell Mr. Wonderful how you have protected this through a utility patent.